Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV with me, Get Daved. So, time to go exploring Femiskyra. I think we already talked to you last time. Well that's trouble. Yes, who could it be? Okay, I'll leave you alone then. Yay! Everybody likes mini metals. And I guess I'll poke my head down a little while. Uh, there was one thing I'm very excited to show all of you. It's not, it's just not that good. It's very average. If it cast, cast Zap or something, it would be good, but I think it casts Sizzle. And you get it like right at the end of the game. And strong and butch! Haha, <laughs> go on. Well, one can only hope. What if he's genderless? What if it's genderless? Okay. We can raise Maya's defense quite a bit. And that's more than a little typing. Okay, yeah, technically I can't afford it, but I'm not going to get caught up on that right now. I do think I have a little bit of extra gear kicking around. I'm sort of torn between taking... Even though I've never used silver tarot cards, they're not... Don't ever sell them. I'll know if you sell them. Alright, here we go. Money, 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 money. Okay. Now I can be affording the pink leotard. Uh, we're... We're decently removed from when we can buy better... come across any better gear, so yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Maya, because what? No, you know what? Change of plans. I'm actually gonna focus on saving up my money and seeing if I can just get uh, some <laughs> liquid metal armor. It's gonna be a better choice long, long term. Twice the woman any man. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Fool me once, you won't fool me again. Oh, congratulations. A bronze rosary. Yep, secret stairs. The room looked a little bit different in the NES version. Those sorts of differences always interest me. Alright, so 22 more attack points for Elena. So. She's getting pretty high up there on the kill mo manometer, which is a device that measures killing aptitude. So you can see she's starting to get pretty close to the hero in strength, which... There's a 30 point gap in the attack power of their weapons. And the hero has also has an accessory that raises his strength by 8, so Elena's actually stronger. Um, might as well just simplify things. One more treasure on this level, okay. Found it! Okay. That's right, I refused to look. Because if you look, there's nothing in there, but... Heyo. There's nowhere for me to run. I could fight my way out. I mean, there's four of us. How many guards do you have? Two out the door. This one. One more who wants a butch man. I mean, get in line. This is actually sort of a staple of the Dragon Quest series. You almost always end up in jail at one point or another.
Also, those of you astute will notice I swapped Boria into the party off-screen. Uh, there's sort of a reason for that. Nope. No. Overwhelming evidence, you have one indirect witness. They pick one random party member. Oh, I kind of... Uh, you know what, we can get by without Maya. I elected not to buy her armor, so... <laughs> oh no! I want to talk to this guy in jail, too. He'll get here soon enough. Well, they have a lot more equipment. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tornaco, you freed a guy from jail. Do time. The main reason I'm doing that is, uh... Tornaco, um... He doesn't learn any spells, so we're not really inhibiting growth, aside from stats. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I just didn't think Maya was uh, gonna handle it as well. Something about Tornaco makes me think he's uh, spent a night in jail before. Alright. Something's locked up something fierce in there. In the NES it was actually surrounded by gardens and flowers and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. This was actually called Garden Burr in the NES version. And since we got accused of stealing, might as well earn it. Okay. Everybody, wash your hands. Oh, I've lost the ability to use nose for, for treasure, unfortunately. Why did I lock up Tornaco? Oh, that's good to know. So she's soft. Leather dress. I believe I was explicitly told not to steal those. Meow. Yeah. Well, we kept it, obviously. A lot of people are working on that. If only you had the internet, you could pool resources. Sorry, everybody, just had to adjust one little thing. Mm hmm. What would we call such a story, though? <laughs> nice. I haven't done a lot of reading books. I should probably do more of that. Oh, here we go. We just got chapter four. can read about his journey at other bookshelves, starting in Zenoksva. But again, like, the lightning staff just sucks. Now, the saved is stone. There's an item you can get used to. I think this is just an exit back here. Alright. So, if you want to find the thief, just follow your nose. Chicken poxer, hey? Eh? Very literal interpretation of focus on healing Mina. Whoops. A little bit too much focus on out here from me. On healing from Kiro for me. Wow. Alright, and uh there is a decent reason to bring someone who has the sap spell with you. 
So, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go with Bori on this one. I... Yeah, he's got lots of MP, so that's nice. I mean, is a little low on MP, but I think we should be okay. I'm gonna change up her AI script a little bit, too. We'll see what she does when she fights wisely. Oh yeah, these guys. I remember now. When they defend, uh, they bring him back up. And I'm not sure how I feel about your choices there. I'm gonna try using... You know what? First things first, let's try using the Silver Tarot card see if anything fun happens. There you go. So that's a good one. Sometimes they're not good. Yeah, Boria. He brought the pain. One other thing you can do with the Magnum Staff is use it as an item in battle. And then uh, never get a chance to see what it does. Alright, this cave. There's a couple parts that can be a little confusing. I think I want to loop around after I go poking around over here. Also, there's a few nasty enemies in here. You all know about Chalanodons already. Well, let's see what we can do. So that'll hit all enemies regardless of group, so that's quite a nice spell. Appreciating Elena's insane attack power again. And it just got crazier. Yay! Somebody asked in the comments section, I guess it would be several videos ago, but uh, it's the one I uploaded yesterday. Um, do party members who aren't with you in a dungeon still get experience if you don't have the wagon? Answer, no. But if you do have the wagon, yes! And there are some dungeons, um, they tend to have wide entrances. You can bring the wagon in there. It'd be nice if the Chalanathon dies. Yay! is a little foggy on which way to go. I think I've made a wrong turn in terms of finding all of the things. Uh, these guys aren't too bad. They look a little ferocious, but just don't have the HP to back it up. Got a few of those. Seed of Wisdom. Uh, guess we'll give it to Mina. Good enough. And this is the one I really care about. Yeah! Worst possible result. Down, I think, is ahead. Alright, these guys can be a bit nasty. They've got pretty good attack power, and I might be getting confused, but sometimes they may act twice. Yeah, there we go. Good news, everyone, I'm not confused. This is actually kind of a nasty encounter. If you ever were in the mood to bring Kirill instead of Mina, this would probably be a pretty good area, because he does have Kabuff. Although, there's enough other terrible things to make you worry about. Yeah! Died in his sleep. Kind of inefficient, but I don't care. Oops. And aside from that, we're okay for now. 
The good news is they went after the hero with most of their attacks. Don't! I knew I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did it anyway. Ah. Alright, well while we're showing off interesting spells, I'm going to put Oomph on Elena here. So, double attack power now, so she's going to be having some fun. If you have one of the rare items that lets you attack twice, the second attack will not be Oomph, just so you know. Yeah. Oomph is kind of one of... Kind of one of the best spells in the game. No big deal. Okay. These guys can be dangerous. Hopefully the hero will just go really quickly. Oh boy. Well, I got my wish, but... Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Yeah, they're nasty, and you'll see plenty of them. Starting to wish I had uh, healed up before I came in here, but too late to regret that now. Alright, let's not have a repeat of last time. There we go. Oh good, I avoided a dead end. Boy, this floor always seems so much larger on the NES version. And this first floor is actually probably about half of the dungeon. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, Boria! That is actually one of the best ones. I don't know if it came fast enough, but it doubled the experience points you get. It's pretty rare. I have some dream of getting into an encounter with, like, two Metal King Slimes or something. And having that drawn and killing both of them. And having the happiest moment of my life. It's pretty much how I think it would go. This floor can sometimes be a bit confusing. It is quite small, though. The encounter rate also doesn't help. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure how effective explosion spells are against them. Good. Answer, not very. Also, looks like they have some resistance to crackle. Not much, though. And yes, I saw I could keep advancing there. Alright, so we've got a dead end here. This treasure is the one I, I kind of forgot how to get to it. Oh no. Okay. Spitfires were called butterfly dragons in the original, for those of you who are keeping score. Good work, team. Nobody in the wagon is getting any of these experience points, but unless we run into a, a liquid metal slime, which we might, we're probably not going to leave everyone, anyone in the dust by that much. And honestly, you never, even if it's going to promote inequality, you take every liquid metal slime encounter you can get. Would have been pretty cool if we got one right when I said get. Not quite. Someday I'll get them all in one turn.
Oh, you're in trouble now, man. A lot of the enemies have around 100 hit points if you're uh, interested. And yeah, we have an insane encounter rate. It makes up for the fact that we're very close to the end of this cave. Actually, you know what? Let's just try your attack. Ah, darn it. That was the correct route to go forward, but that's not what I want to do right now. The treasure has something very expensive and quite good in it. It's mostly for Ragnar. You could make the case it's one of the better shields in the game. She doesn't have swoosh yet, that's unfortunate. Yeah, when you encounter a group of four of those guys, you really don't like seeing that attack. Kill! So, mid heal restores between 75 and 100 hit points. Um. And it costs twice as much as... Oh, dang it! Sorry, everybody, I got all confused. That's still for Ragnar. There is a good shield in here. There we go. Yeah. It'll be an improvement for now, although if we play our cards right, we'll get the Zenithian shield, so... Oh, fantastic. And the hero is even more lopsidedly good now. And, yeah, that's fi filtering out fire and ice damage, just like the iron shield did. Only difference is, it's a lot stronger. Probably don't want to give that to you. And the iron mask is similar to the Zenithian helm, but weaker and not giving you any status protection. It actually has a lot more in common with the generic iron helmet. Hopeful that number four there will get killed by the upcoming bang spell. Yeah. All right. Now we advance forward, and as soon as we, <laughs> the encounter rate is so insane in here. At least the fights in this game are nice and quick. Alright, this is it. And we have a bit of a boss fight coming up, so... I would suggest you heal everyone up. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a boss fight, you're supposed to heal before you do these things, but... Um, this one can actually go on for a while, and I think you can get fizzled. Nothing too crazy. That I like. Kirk Buzzer's Diary. And a Mercury's Bandana, which is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment in Dragon Quest IX. It speeds you up, I mean, that's always nice. 
but you can only have one accessory equipped at a time, so I would lose the plus eight on the strength. So, unfortunately, probably Boria. There is some advantage in having him act first. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I'll be taking that. And yeah, if he gets away, well, don't let him get away. He's got a lot less shirt now that we're fighting. Alright, Elena is just going to attack like crazy, because that's really the only thing she can do. Hero as well. Um... And yeah, I mean, there's no healing to do. He can buff his... oh, there we go. He can buff his defense quite high, so you want to make sure you've got Sap to take that back down. Uh, let me get one more out of there. Actually, wait. His defense has been sapped down to nothing, so now we can focus on oomphing. Yeah! This fight's going about as well as it can go. Not that I would say it's a terribly difficult one, although I have gotten into some pretty... Yeah. Some pretty long encounters. So beautiful. Yep, sap and oomph, everybody. If Kirk Buzzer were to buff his defense up a couple levels, we'd get at the point where only the hero and Elena could do a fraction of damage. And if you bring um, Tornaco and or Ragnar, you're really opening yourself up to that strategy. So watch out. Agility plus eight, that's awesome. Zing has a 50% chance of reviving one of your characters to 50% health. So that is fantastic. Yay, agility. Nope. Well, we're okay now. So I beat up somebody. So, I'm innocent? I guess we have his diary. Oh, come on, I wanna... <sighs> I was hoping to get back to the castle a long time ago. Alright. This is not a spell? So, the Belleth won't be able to, uh... Oh, dope! <laughs> Give yourself 10 good day points if you caught my mistake. I'm going to cast Crackle. It's got a bit more kick. Uh, the Magma Staff would be able to penetrate that. Oh, I don't care. valuable lesson, so... We will be zooming six inches. And you know what? I'm gonna end the video here. We'll leave you in suspense as to what happens next. Uh-huh. So, take that. <laughs>